Hello everybody! This video is going to teach you about how to find the original price if you know what the marked up price is and the percent or what the sale price is in the percent. And you want to find out what was the original price. Now these problems are a little bit tricky. Okay, first of all we're going to use a proportion to solve them. Now remember this, our good old friend here A over B is equal to P over 100. We're going to use that exact same proportion that we used before, except now we are always going to be solving for B. Oops, solving for B. Okay, the current price, whether it's marked up or a discount, is always going to be the A value. The question is, what will the percent be or the P value be? <coughs> you can't just take it from the word problem and put it into the proportion because it represents something that was already discounted or already marked up. So what you need to do, now look down here I have, if the new price is discounted or a sale, then the p-value is going to be 100% minus the discount. So one way to think of it is, all right, well a discount is subtracted because you always subtract the discount. And what are we subtracting it from? From 100. They're either going to be added to 100% the original, because 100% represents the, the original price you're trying to find. So it's either going to be added to 100% or subtracted from 100%. Discounts are subtracted. And then markups are added. So a markup is added to the 100%. Okay? So let's try a sample problem of this. Isabel paid $249 for a killer bass guitar that was 15% off. What was the original price of the guitar? All right, well here's the key. It was 15% off. So in other words, it's been discounted. So you know we're gonna use this. This P over 100 is equal to A over B. This number right here, 249, is how much we paid for it. Remember, that's our A value. We're always solving for B. So this over here says this is a discount, again, the 15% off. And then what we're going to do is because it's a discount, discounts are subtracted from 100. So I'm going to, instead of putting the percent up there, I'm going to do 100 minus the discount. For my p-value, the a is just what's in the original problem, and again, I'm always solving for b. Now, I'm going to say this once, and I'm not going to say it again because I know it's going to confuse some of you people, but and I and I don't, I really don't want to confuse anyone. So this is 85 over 100 is equal to 249 over b, and that's because because the reason it's 85, it is. 85 percent the 249 represents 85 percent of the original okay and again i'm not going to say that again because i know that's going to confuse some people and I don't, i'm not looking to do that multiply diagonally and i get 85 b is equal to uh 249 zero, zero. i'm going to divide by 85 divide by 85 I'm going to pull my calculator, 24900 zero, zero, divided by 85. Oh, I did it divided by 5, darn it. 24900 zero, zero, divided by 85. That's better. And I get 292.94. So B is equal to 292.94. So the original price of the bass guitar was $292.94. Now, if I took, just to prove to you that this is going to work, okay? If I took 292.94, and we're told she got 15% off of it, right? And I did times 15%. So 292.94. Darn it, I did, entered it wrong. 292.94 times 0.15, her sale, 
for their discount, you got $43.94 off. So I would take $2.92 then, 94 minus 43.94 would give me the sale price. Again, this is just proof here. 292.9494 minus 43.94. And what do I get? 249. Exactly what we said it was in here. And again, we had to do 100 minus that 15% because 249 represents 85% of the original price okay so again I'm not going to mention that again because I'm not looking to confuse anyone out there okay home goods home goods marks up the wholesale price well first of all there's that key in there marks up the wholesale price of a decorative lamp by 40 percent the retail price is 35 what is the wholesale price you know, don't worry about wholesale retail because it says marks up right there, okay? And we're looking to find original price. It's given to us right there. So it's a mark up. So I take 100 plus the percent that it was marked up. And I'm going to put it over 100. And that's going to be equal to A, which is $35. And we're always solving for B, always. So I have 140 over 100 is equal to 35 over B. Cross multiply, I get 140B is equal to 3,500. Divide both sides by 140. And B, let's do that real quick. Ooh, let me clear all that junk out of there. I have 3,500 divided by 140 is $25 so it is $25 is the price before they marked it up and again 35 the reason that I'm using 140 here because 35 represents 140 percent of the original price it's been marked up so we added it to a hundred all right next one I want you guys to do this one yourself so pause the video and try this one yourself, please. Okay, hopefully you wrote this down in your notes and then you tried this problem. Now, again, it's a markup. So what we're gonna have is 100 plus the markup percent, 60. You know, I'm just gonna write that in one shot. So 100 plus this 60 is 160 over 100 is equal to 60 over B. Cross multiply, I get 160B here, and then I get here, 6000, zero, zero, zero. divide both sides by 160, and B is equal to, let me do 6000, divided by 160, and it's $37.50. So $37.50 is the price of the game before it is marked up, okay? Or the wholesale price of the game. Now, I know some of you are thinking, Mr. Jones, these are word problems. You should be answering them in the form of a sentence. I agree. Uh, if this is a test or Homework, you should be answering them in the form of a sentence, but I'm trying to make the video shorter, okay? So you would say the wholesale price of the game is $37.50. All right, let's move on. Write this one down, pause the video, and then try and solve it yourself. This is my last sample, so make sure you write it down. Okay, you have a coupon for 10% off a pair of shoes, oops, at Sports Authority. Now, with that 10% discount, the shoes cost $89.10. What is the original price? Now, notice the 10% is written twice. That doesn't mean you add it. It's just mentioned twice in the problem. It's a discount, so you subtract it from 100%. 100 minus 10 is 90 over 100 is equal to the sale price, $89.10. And again, we're always solving for B. 
cross multiply, you get 90B is equal to, and this is 8910. Divide both sides by 90. And B is equal to $99. So the original price of the shoes were $99. That is all, my friends. Goodbye. Have a good night now.